What is up guys? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Welcome to our Thanksgiving week video for this week. We wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and we appreciate you guys coming back to the channel to check out this week's video. And today guys, we do have an important topic to discuss. Today we are going to be talking about what to do, some of the causes and some of the solutions for a Jack Russell that is not eating. There are several reasons why this can occur and we are going to cover those in today's video. So you will want to make sure you stick around. As always guys, before we dive into the video, a thumbs up goes a long way. We Appreciate everybody who does that. It really helps us get seen on YouTube so that others can get the help for this dog that they need as well. So we appreciate that. Always be sure to check out terrierowner.com. Subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you're notified for next week's video. But now guys, let's go ahead and start diving into what to do if you have a Jack Russell that is not eating. And really when you dive into this topic guys, it's going to boil down to just a few reasons typically on why a Jack Russell isn't going to eat. So let's kick that off with number one, and this is for or any of you who recently adopted your Jack Russell and you're just you know starting your routines and trying to figure this dog out but in the beginning if a Jack Russell isn't eating it could be something as simple as they don't understand the feeding routine yet so they just came home from the breeder they're used to getting what they need from that breeder or from the mother Jack Russell and they just don't really know the whole world around them they're trying to socialize and figure everything out at that point we talked about fear cycles last in last week's video which is important to understand somewhat for this topic because it's what they're going through when they get home. They're just mainly sleeping or cur curling up in your lap quite a bit. And they may not be eating because they just haven't figured out that that's what they should be doing. So it's important to, you know, get a food bowl that's down on their level, nice and low, isolate it from other pets or other dogs' food so they don't eat your Jack Russell's food, and really try and get them into a groove with a routine. You know, usually you're going to start off by feeding your dog multiple times per day, closer to probably four in the beginning, small meals. It helps a lot with potty training instead of trying to spread them out too much. So you're going to start with a routine like that, but you want to stay really consistent with your timing. So if your first round of times was you know 6 a.m. noon 4 and 8 o'clock for example and it was four small feedings you want to stay consistent with that because this dog is smart but they need to figure out that routine and that could be one of the reasons they're not eating it's not necessarily that they're not hungry they're just confused so make sure to stick to a routine and really get that engraved into their head so that they are eating and getting the nutrition they need at a critical time of their life to grow build muscle and start to develop the next reason your dog might not be eating could just be because they're not hungry uh, Luna goes through that a lot She's more of a free eater is how I would explain it. Like if I fill up a, a food bowl, you know, that's oversized, like a huge food bowl for my dog Graham, he will just scarf it all in 10 seconds. It doesn't matter how full he gets, he'll do it till he pukes. She's different. She eats when she wants to, when she's hungry. She will leave half of her food in her bowl, then she'll go back and get more later when she wants it. That kind of thing. So I... I was confused too because I was used to Graham eating the way he does. So her having leftover food is not something I was used to seeing, but keep in mind that it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a problem that they're not eating. They just may not be hungry and they're going to come back to that food bowl whenever they choose. On the flip side of that though, guys, you do need to realize that, you know, there's an inverse to that. If they are neglecting their food for a long period of time, or it's clear that they should have been hungry by, you know, the time where you're at right now and they still haven't ate, that could mean you need a trip to the vet to see if they're sick or if they're going through some kind of illness or injury. You know, they're not going to go a full day without eating. They're going to get hungry. She, she's never gone a full day without eating her, all of her food. She'll finish it at some point. It's just when she chooses. So make sure you are paying attention to that. Don't just think that they're not hungry if you're entering day two and they haven't touched their food. That could indicate something more serious or that they might need to see a vet. Another thing I really want to point out about not eating with this dog, especially for the new Jack Russell owners, is this is a picky eating dog. I don't know if all Jack Russells are like that or if it's just Luna, but she's very picky. She still picks little tiny pieces of her food out of it that she doesn't like. She loves the rest of the, the dry mix, but there's like one piece that she hates. Um, so she will remove it. I don't know how extreme this can get with other Jack Russells. So the point I'm trying to make is maybe your dog just doesn't like the food you choose. I don't know if that can really happen. I would think if, you know, the dog gets that hungry, they're going to eat whatever at that point. But I would make sure that you realize that they are picky and they may be just trying to tell you they don't like the food. I would say the best way to be able to diagnose this would be able to see them kind of interested in it, sniffing it or coming around it or even taking a bite and then not going back for more. So make sure if they're not eating or they're eating a very small amount that it's not a problem with the food itself or that they just don't dislike the food. The next one I like to point out about this dog too that I think is really specific to 
Luna for sure. I don't know if it's all Jack Russells, but they are also um, kind of programmed to be somewhat protective and guarded of their food. So she went through that stage with Graham where he would steal her food all the time in the beginning. And that actually kind of made them have a sour relationship in the beginning. They're fine now, but she will, she has this weird thing she does where she will take a blanket that's like in her crate and her food bowls outside of the crate. Um, and the blanket's just in there. Like the crate's always open now. So she can just go in and out of it whenever she chooses. It's kind of like a comfortable little safe spot for her, so to speak. But she will take her blanket and move it out of there so that she can cover her food bowl. It's like she's hiding her food. Um, I think this is her just trying to be kind of a, you know, I think this is her just kind of trying to prove a point to Graham to leave my food alone. I'm not really sure, but I have noticed that compared to other dogs, these dogs are smart. It's almost like she's saving her food for when she wants it and she will hide it and protect it. So that could be another reason potentially on why you're seeing your Jack Russell not eat. So the biggest thing to keep in mind about this topic guys is, I mean, when they get hungry, they're gonna eat. Stay consistent with your timing when, on your feeding schedules when it's new, whenever you're first getting home with the dog. Try and keep eating areas separated from other dogs when you're first you know, starting your journey with this dog. And don't let them go too long without eating. If it surpasses, you know, 24 to 36 hours, I would say that's probably time to make sure that they either don't just completely hate the food that you have or that they're not sick by taking a trip to the vet. This is a topic I would love to hear from you guys as well. If you guys have any further information you can share with the community about why your Jack Russell didn't eat, what you did to fix it, that'd be great for you to drop those comments down below for us so we can all interact and learn from each other. So do that for us. If you didn't do the thumbs up at the beginning of the video, if you could do one now, that would be fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for next week's video so you are notified. Never forget to check out terrierowner.com. We wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving and we will see you in the next video. Take care.